In the middle of a vast exclusion zone in northern Ukraine, the world's largest land-based moving structure has been built to prevent deadly radiation spewing from the Chernobyl nuclear disaster site for the next 100 years. On April 26, 1986, a botched test at the Soviet nuclear plant sent clouds of smouldering nuclear material across much of Europe. A concrete sarcophagus was hastily built over the site of the stricken reactor to contain the worst of the radiation, but a more permanent solution has been in the works since late 2010. Easily visible from miles away, the 30,000-tonne new safe confinement arch will be pulled into position over the site later this year to create a steel CAD casement to block radiation and to allow the remains of the reactor to be dismantled safely. The, the arch is now uh, at its full height and full width and full length, 108 metres tall, 250 metres wide and 150 metres long and it will act as a safe confinement over the number four reactor and it's planned to last for 100 years, it's designed to last for 100 years to give Ukraine a chance to dismantle the number four reactor and make it safe forever. We plan to move the arch at the end of the, uh, November this year and place it over the arch. The tilting panels you can see in the background will be raised and then lowered and sealed around the, the reactor. And then we commission all the systems to make sure it's active. The European Bank for Reconstruction and Development funded the arch. It cost a total of $1.7 billion and involved donations from more than 40 governments. The upcoming 30th anniversary of the disaster has shone a new light on the long-term impact of the worst nuclear meltdown in history. The official short-term death toll from the accident was 31. However, the total death toll and long-term health effects remain a subject of intense debate, with many more dying of radiation-related illnesses such as cancer.